this is this is just phenomenal. There's so many different applications that you can use for. If you're a t-shirt designer, if you're making products, it's really a great way to up your game. What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorial. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Adobe app that nobody talks about. But some of you might be familiar with this already. I feel like this one is probably one of the most underrated Adobe applications ever, just for the range of capabilities and what it can offer to the users. And given now that Adobe is starting to charge extra for some of their applications, even if you have the Adobe Suite, given that this application is completely free if you have the Adobe Suite, it's just mind blowing what you can do. But before we reveal this app, if you guys could please hit the like button and subscribe it's free, all this content is free, so it'd really, really mean a lot if you guys could. And with that said, drum roll. This app is Adobe Dimension. Adobe Dimension is just insane. I remember when I like first loaded in, I was like, my mind was blown just how much you can offer. Basically what this is, is an app for graphic designers and it could be used for video editors in some applications. And basically it's just a 3D rendering program that allows you to create really hyper-realistic um, renderings of product displays or items or furniture or architecture even. The app is free if you do have the Adobe Suite, so it does require that you have that. This app just has so many endless capabilities. And in this video, we're just gonna do a quick rundown of pretty much all the applications of this app and just the insane capabilities it has. And also, if you guys have any questions or concerns throughout the video, please be sure to leave a comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into Adobe Dimension. All right, guys, so now that we are finally inside Dimension, you'll see we open up to a nice blank empty plane right here. And there's pretty much nothing going on so far. But real quick, what you'll notice are there's just a bunch of options going on over here. And I'm just gonna explain what each of these are to you before we go go ahead and get to creating. So on the very, very far left hand side, you'll see we have a nice panel of tools right here. The top one right here is just the obviously cursor slash select tool, the magic wand and sampler tool we won't go to yet. Moving down over here, we have a orbit tool, which basically orbits the scene. We have a pan tool, which you can pan the scene. And then we also have a dolly tool, which just helps you zoom in and out. And you can switch each between all of these by using one, two, and three on your number pad or whatever your settings are set to. Now moving on to the right of that, you'll see we have some shapes going on right here. This one right here, this section is labeled basic shapes and these are just basic shapes, hence the name. Uh, we have a text tool, we have a cube, sphere, cone, torus, cylinder, just basic stuff going on right here. And then below that, we have a bunch of models. Now, all of these models are actually sample models that are free from Adobe's stock website. So you can go ahead and download more if you're interested from their website. But before we move on, let's just go ahead and drag a cube in just so we can get the feel of how things are. So we drag this cube in and already it's pretty big. So I'm just gonna zoom out. You can scroll in and out to zoom by the way. And if I go to my cursor tool and select this cube, you'll see we have a nice little array of options that we can do right here. If you hover here, this blue circle is the Z rotation. This green circle is the Y rotation. And then this red circle is the X rotation. You can also move it up, down, left, right, backward, forward, everything in that sense. And honestly, it's really fun, especially if you've never done 3D before. This is honestly what I started off doing 3D. This is the first thing I've ever done 3D. And it's really great, easy way to learn 3D. And it's also very, very effective and a very good processing engine. And you'll see that just in a bit. Now that we have a Cuban, we're gonna go hot on and get into the fun magic of Adobe Dimension. What makes it so fun? If we come over here back to the basic shapes panel and we look above that, you'll see we're selected on models. Come over here to this circle icon that's labeled materials and select that. Now you'll see we have a whole new set of options going on right here. These are all materials. If you take one of these materials and drag it and apply it to your cube, you'll see it sets the cube to that material. So now our cube is made out of metal. You can also drag a plastic to it. You can also just click on them too. You don't have to drag, but there's just so many different options. And right off the bat, you'll just see how good the rendering engine is on Adobe Dimension. The fact that it's all very automatic, but it still is, is really good quality. Like for example, if you did this on Blender or Unreal, engine a lot of this you'd have to tweak uh, manually and obviously there are ways to adjust the lighting which we'll get to in a bit really easy to use really simple especially if you're a beginner with 3d this kind of looks like the uh the cube from fortnite <laughs> sorry just thought thought of it top of my head and now coming back over here to our materials panel we're going to come back over here to this top panel and move on to the lighting and now you'll see how we can adjust the lighting now over here there's just a bunch of different options uh environment uses and there's little picture samples so that you can see what type of lighting settings these are if for say if you want a studio light or this like colorful scene setup you can just choose a bunch of different 
lighting setups to, to make your scenes just look different and unique. Moving on from the lighting, you can also hit the images. And this is basically just like, if you want to set a background for safe, I don't really use the image backgrounds that often, but you know, you can use them. So for say, if you want to put this, this cube right here in the city or for say in like a museum gallery, you can just switch the images and then you can just line it up with the, uh, what's it called? The flooring and, and stuff like that. Now that we have everything on this left-hand side out of the way, we're going to move over to the right-hand side and you'll see we have this nice panel the scene set up with our layers this is kind of similar to Photoshop you have your camera your cube and if you, you know, hit the visibilities things will disappear if you click on the environment option you also have the ability to increase the intensity or the rotation and it's just gives you a really good um, range of options that you can do to manipulate your scene going on right here and boom those are pretty much the basics to Adobe dimension we're gonna go ahead and delete this cube right here and what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually show like a real-world application of how we can actually use Adobe dimension mentioned to for say let's make a, a soda can ad what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back over here to our models and you see we're gonna come over here to these models that uh, Adobe has from their store so I'm just gonna grab a beverage can I like this beverage can in particular because there are water spots on it. I don't know. It's just it's just something cool that I appreciate the fact that Adobe made. Now you can see how I lined up my scene setting using the orbit panel to just make sure that my can lines up with this, this tabletop. And it honestly looks like this can is sitting on the table. Now using what we've learned, we're going to go ahead and come over here to the scene right here to customize and adjust each of these different aspects. So real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the visibility on the liquid and then the pull ring is on the top if you if you come over here you see the pull ring so what we're gonna do first is we are actually going to set a color a base color that we can use for this can so I'm gonna come over here click on the can and then if you come over here to actions you'll see we have a color panel you can adjust the this is the pull ring material color and the can material I'm gonna click on the can material and select the base color over here and I'm just gonna select this to a nice like light bluish color going on right here. But now let's go ahead and add a logo to this can to make uh, some sort of branding, like we're making a soda can ad right now. Now this is what I really love and applaud Adobe for doing is how easy it is to just add images. So right over here, I have this nice little 11% can print that I made. Uh, for for cans and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this onto our can our cans gonna highlight and you'll see boom right away It is already applied. I wish applications like blender and Eng Unreal Engine have done this because really it's just fantastic and makes things just super easy So you can see right here uh, We have some scale that we can use to adjust it hold shift if you want to maintain the actual scale of everything And so I'm just gonna hold shift and scale it up until we have this nice logo going on right here and boom Honestly, that is looking pretty great so far so we have a can right here we have some branding and if we go ahead and turn back on the liquid you see we have some water splotches on it now one last thing I'd like to add to the actual scene is like a splash of lemonade or like yeah like a splash of water just to make it feel like this this is what you're drinking this is the product like you've seen in like you know Gatorade ads and whatnot now if we come over here back to our models and we scroll down on our models you'll see that Adobe actually has some like liquid splashes that we can add to our scene so I'm just gonna click this one and then uh, add it in right here. And you can see it's honestly pretty great what we have already right here. I can go ahead and just adjust this rotation really easily and boom, that looks like a pretty solid ad. Like I would wanna buy that drink. Like I know what this is, there's lemonade in it. It's just something that you see like straight out of like a commercial like billboard ad right here. And you're doing this all at home on your computer with free Adobe assets. Now we can click on this water splash right here and come back to our materials. And for say, I want to set it like a watercolor or a lemonade. I can just go ahead and drag that material. And then I could adjust the base color of the water to be like some sort of yellow. It looks like, it looks like pee. <laughs> you know what? We could actually also uh, actually make this olive oil right here, which is the actual color, I guess. And we can just obviously adjust the color as well. There we have a nice looking product display ad. We can add some text right here later on Photoshop, but let's go ahead and fix this lighting now real quick. So right now the front of the can, it's a nice setup, but this is very dark and I kind of don't like it. I want it to feel a little bit brighter. So like I said, we can go and just adjust these lighting right here. I want something very natural that matches the background of this scene. This kind of feels a little bit outdoor. Some of them are a little bit brighter than others. Some of them are a little bit warmer. This one's a really warm one for sure. This one and this one are kind of nice. Uh, if they could actually be a little bit less intense, that would be great. And guess what I can do? I can adjust the intensity on the right hand side over here. So I can just adjust this by scrolling and also for say, if I don't like the direction of the light, I can also adjust the entire rotation 
of just the light source just to have different uh, looks and dynamics to your product feel. And boom, there we have it, a nice looking product ad. Now for the final step of Adobe Dimension Design, which is going to be rendering. Now, if you see right here on the top left-hand corner, there's a design panel, and I'm pretty sure you've been seeing this render button too. This is the final stage where we hit rendering. Now rendering right here, if we click on this, I'm just going to hit render. Um, you're gonna see basically what Dimension is doing is basically just calculating the way that light is gonna reflect off of certain materials and how that light is gonna reflect back onto other materials and it's creating and painting a real image. And already so far, you'll see as this noise starts to dissipate and disappear, we have a nice looking product ad right here. Now this lemonade right here kind of looks like uh, Mountain Dew actually rather than lemonade. But as you can see, this is just phenomenal. The fact that we're doing this just on a MacBook Pro right here, really, really, really fast rendering time and just honestly amazing image product right here. This is, this is just phenomenal. There's so many different applications that you can use Dimension for. If you're a t-shirt designer, if you're making products, or if you're selling beverages and drinks, it's really a great way to up your game, especially also if you're a um, freelancer and you wanna learn this aspect of 3D design and start offering those services to your clients. It's really, really simple, really, really easy, and just a great way to bring your work to the next level. Here's the before picture, and here is the final result. If you guys made it to the end of the video, thank you again so much for watching. Really, it means the world. If you haven't already, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It means so much to me and this channel. And I really just want to help you in your editing process journey, you know, just becoming a better creative and learning the Adobe applications to its fullest. Please be sure to follow us on Instagram at 11% prod if you guys want to follow us for future updates on tutorials like this. Also, remember to leave a comment down below if you had any questions or concerns throughout the entirety of the tutorial. I love to hear what you guys have to say. With that said, thanks again so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.